Hey guys, welcome back to Get Dip. We are a liquid wrap shop in Dallas, Texas. Please hit up our other channel, Get Dip Services, if you guys are interested in the full cars that we do. Today on the channel, I want to do a how-to video. It's my first how-to video, so please give me a break. We're going to do the most common thing that you might do to your car, and that's going to be wheels and brakes. You could do this with paint or dip. I'm not going to be sanding the wheel or anything, so it makes more sense to dip them. The OEM style brakes, you don't need to sand. They're already very rough. If you do have like Brembo's or something like that, and they're painted, you're going to have to sand those. We're going to do the OEM style brakes and the liquid wrap and the wheels i'm gonna show you guys how to do it right now all right we got this audi a4 in this car just dropped off it's getting a classic calm black wheels red brakes everyone always wants that these are the oem style brakes like i was talking to you about we are going to spray the whole face of the pad customers tend to prefer that because they want more of the color they're going to change the pads eventually and that pad won't be red anymore we're just trying to make people happy out here we get the question all the time if our liquid wrap brakes are heat resistant and they are we've done hundreds of cars brake never had anyone come back we've even done engine covers i've done exhaust tips nothing ever happened Okay, the wheels are off. Next thing to do, we're gonna set the wheels aside. Start with the brakes. Prep up the brakes first. First thing we gotta do is get trash bags. That's what I like to use. They're very elastic, so it gets around everything very easily. I'm gonna go get those. My boy Cam, he just pulled up with the god dang Tahitian green. Peeling off his bumper. Why are you feeling your bumper again? Because when my, I put the kit on, my tail light broke and it chipped all the wrap around here. Uh, it's time to redo it. Get some duct tape right here for a minute. Yeah, out here with two different wheels. Finman makes me want to kill a baby. We're just going to put some spacers on. He has to roll over these wood blocks because he's so low. <laughs> Smell like burnt pancakes from his clutch. We got it up there. Barely. Barely. Tell me about these wheels, Cameron. These are not your average reps. <laughs> 57 DRs. Oh, they're from Japan. You're gonna be waiting a minute if you're trying to get a pair, a whole set of DRs. I'm still waiting on the, you know, you can get the picture. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's how I stretch in the morning. <sighs> no way. It doesn't fit. Take it off real quick. I think maybe your spacer nuts are too big. The issue at hand is from his own creation. He had extended studs already on the vehicle. It is his own demise. All right, guys, see you guys later. It's the last <laughs> time I'm gonna appear on the channel. <laughs> I'm about to go end it all. Shit. Trash bag's right here. First thing I do is open her up. You're just gonna put it over the brake and rotor. Try to get it as far up as you can. And I'm gonna need you to put them way up inside your butthole, Morty. In my butt. Put them way up inside there as far as they can fit. Oh, Next thing is I just take my finger and I just poke a hole. Grab the plastic and pull it over. You don't want to do it too big of a hole. And there you go. So as you can see, it pretty much perfectly goes around the brake. This is the easiest, fastest, the most effective way to tape up a brake. You just have to be careful when you're spraying so that you're not spraying all up in the fender wheel and stuff. I put all the tape on so I just have a piece of tape so it's a clean line. We got some tape back there securing it. Tape up there. And then we have some tape just covering up the rotor so the rotor peaks through right here through here and right there if you do get some paint on the rotor on that side of it it's probably not even going to be noticeable and it's not dangerous don't even worry about it. it's not the end of the world next thing to do is to clean the brake typically i'll just use paint thinner but you can use brake cleaner xylene or any sort of strong chemical that's going to get all this dirt off of the brake definitely want to run through the brake two to three times just so you make sure you get everything off of it Fast forward, I got all the brakes done. We're gonna cover a whole car in a piece of plastic just so that we don't get any overspray because there's gonna be spray in the air. We don't want any of that landing on the car, so we'll do that in a second. But right now, let's start with wheels. So I already took out all the center caps for the wheels. He doesn't want those painted. And all we have to do is mask up this right here. First, we have to clean the wheels, so really thoroughly clean them with a microfiber towel. I get into all these little creases, and I do that about two or three times. And I do it once with thinner just so that there are no oils or anything left over. All right, so we got the valve taped off. All we have to do now is tire shine around the tire itself. I'm gonna do that right now. The tire shine, but on the tire, just so the dip does not stick to the tire. It peels off of the tire way easier. Okay, the wheels and the brakes are all ready to go. We're gonna start spraying it. I'm gonna switch to the GoPro so y'all can see me. Okay, you really just want to start off very light. Make sure it's totally dry and clean. You want to be pretty far away. I have it on a fairly low pressure. You just want to get it to where 
it looks like that. So barely coated, just little droplets. You wanna start off very light so that it sticks to the brake very well. So we're gonna do this around all of the brakes and then the wheels. On the wheels, I do about the same thing. You can, you can go in and try to hit the sides, but for the first coat, so that you don't end up putting too much on, I stay really far back and I just go like this and I'm just hitting the face, so it's not gonna get really into those crevices very well. That's okay, we just don't wanna build up too much product right now, because that way it won't stick. So when you first put it on, you can see it's still wet. Once it's dry, it's called flash time. Once it's flashed and it's matte looking, then we can do the next coat. We're gonna do it about the exact same as the first one, and then we'll start putting it a little heavier. Second coat's gonna be exactly the same. Here's the second coat. Okay, so we're ready for the wet coat. We're gonna do two wet coats of black on the brakes or two wet coats of primer. I'm on the last coat of black. So I'm on the last coat of black. It's very important to get it wet. You want it to be a nice smooth finish. This is where you're gonna get lack of orange peel and it's gonna be smooth. If it's wet, it levels itself, but you don't wanna be too close to where you get it to be running. I go through each spoke. I'm gonna hit here, 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 here. And then I'm gonna go the other direction. Hit here, 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 here. Then I just do one circular around the entire rim. That's how I do pretty much every wheel. Yeah, you can see it's very, very wet and it's even. It's gonna dry very nice and then we'll be ready for the clear coat. It's gonna take about four coat of red to be that nice bright red. All right, everything came out great. Just like paint, it's perfect. All you have to do with the tires is basically you put a finger here and it just literally comes right off the tire. So that was why we use Tire Shine. It comes off perfectly. Okay, go over all your brakes. Make sure you didn't leave any tape anywhere. Okay, now the only other thing we have to do, put on the center cap, and then we'll be able to pull it outside and it's ready to go. We got it outside, we got the center caps and the lug caps back on. It looks so good. I'm sure he'll be super happy with it. All right, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Liquid wrapping wheels and brakes. If you guys are interested in more how-to videos, please drop them in the comments below. Other than that, please subscribe and that's a wrap.